Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another From the Collection Fridays. A series where I take things from my collection and show it to you, my viewers. And this week it is my Iron Maiden Power Slave Eddie, um, or the Pharaoh Eddie, um, from the cover of Iron Maiden's Power Slave album. Um, now this figure is made by Nika. And, um, yeah, if you know Nika figures, sometimes they're really, really good, and sometimes they're really, really bad. And, uh, this is probably a figure that sits in the in-between. Um, unfortunately, because he is a mummy, they have wrapped up the bottom of the feet. And because the bottom of the feet are wrapped up, that means there's no peg holes for a stand uh, so you'll actually need to find something that sort of wraps around the bottom of the ankles to keep him standing because his balance is not particularly fantastic uh, and it is very very top heavy anyway uh, he comes with two items so his long staff there and his sword uh, there was a third part, which is this little golden knobbly thing at the bottom. Uh, the pictures don't show it attached to the staff, but as far as I'm aware, there's nowhere else that you could really put it. So it must be attached to the staff. And the staff is actually fairly nicely detailed. Um, it is a bit like a, um, you know, like the doctor's staff thing. I can't remember the name of it, but you know, it's like a winged staff with two coiled uh, snakes. Now this doesn't have two coiled snakes, it's only got one. But it does have wings. And the sword has that, um, you know, I, I think it would be like a curved scimitar. Um, they're both nicely painted, but the, um, the hands have a very very strong grip so you're gonna have to be careful slotting things in for this otherwise you might end up breaking it um, now the material for the mummy side of things does appear to be like proper kind of cloth bandaging and um, the main blue part of his uh, I guess you would call it skirt uh, is also, a, it feels like a cloth. Um, so in both cases, it's actually, actually very, very nice. Um, it seems to be attached with Velcro, so you'll have to be aware of that. And of course, it's limiting in the poses because of that. Uh, he is articulated, um, but it's impossible to tell what kind of joints he has because they are wrapped. Um, he is very, very nicely detailed though. Um, you know, like the belt is fully, if I zoom in, you see the, the belt is actually sort of like customised. You can see a little bit of that Velcro seam there as he spins past. Um, I don't know what the top bit is made out of this bit. I think this might be like a sort of hard, it's a kind of hard plastic is what it feels like. Um... He has a very, very nicely sculpted head though. Um, you know, standard sort of pissed off Eddie look. Um, and they have weathered the bandages so they're not just a solid colour. Um, if I zoom back out and I bring him up, you can see that he's got the articulation in the knee there. Um, doesn't appear to be any bend you know to, to swivel it there is movement in the ankle but it seems to be backwards and forwards and see what I mean there's no there's no peg holes there might actually be peg holes under here but you know do you really want to cut into it to find out um, the arms go out and that they do have a bit of spin in that but they're bandaged so it's really limited there. It really is more sort of like a poseable statue, I think, because of the clothing. Um, there is movement in the hands, so they they do turn 
um, you know, around. And then they've got a slight bit of up and down and sort of that movement. Use my own hands for this because it's probably easier. Um, the hand is very, very tight, so you might not be able to get the sword the whole way down. And um, it seems like that sort of standard Nika plastic thing where it feels quite brittle and if you force it it's probably going to break um that has always been one of my issues with their stuff um particularly like the predators um the blades on those either came broken or they would break when you were trying to remove them um or similar you know they they just like they look fantastic i'll give them that they look fantastic but they don't do a particularly good job of being sturdy or, or hardy or anything. Um, now there is articulation in the head. It's a little bit of up and down, but not very much because obviously it's, um, you know, limited by this. And he has the nice, you know, chin piece. So very nice face. Probably something that would really work well for an Iron Maiden fan. Um, if you're not an Iron Maiden fan, you're probably not too interested, but I am a big Iron Maiden fan. I love Maiden. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I picked it up from the Pop Stop. Uh, last I looked, they didn't have any more. Um, and I had pre-ordered it for months. So there might not be a high chance of being able to find these anymore. Um if you ever do, but you might find one out in the wild. Maybe there is one at, at Pop Stop um, that they've since got in since the last time I looked, which was a while ago. But at any rate, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.